Heck, what day are we on of this freaking roof rack thing? <laughs> oh, this sucks. Come on, this whole project. Well, that was epic fail. I should have probably done the inside, sprayed the inside. <laughs> Ooh la la. What day are we on of this freaking roof rack thing? <laughs> uh, I think we're on day three, maybe. Day three, but not much progress. So I didn't get to cutting my bars last night because dinner was ready and then it started raining and you know, roof rack problems. So we are going to cut this bad boy today. Wow and hopefully I'll get some good shots of it because my tripod also pooped out on me for the big camera. So yeah, maybe I'll magnet the camera to the van or something. Anyways, nothing for you to worry about. That's the plan today. Let's see if we can at least get the roof rack up and then figure out how we're gonna attach the solar panels to it. All right, later. All right, I think I just figured it out. What? So, let me give you what I've come up with so far. So, the theory on the other one, it's a good theory, but we just don't have the right parts for it. So this spring that we got was for the uh, 12 gauge. And they must have some of these and the, this part's thinner. So when trying to install it over here, uh, there's, it doesn't connect with this. So it doesn't keep it snug because we don't have a bolt long enough to do that. Uh, and we don't have the single pieces either, and it's not close enough to even make sense to have it like that. So, with the 12 gauge. <sighs> so after lots of trial and error, I think this might work. I'm gonna run it past the father. Fasha is dead, dad is Fasha. Um, to get his thoughts on it, but I think it's pretty good, so. Seems pretty tight and put the bolts in yet, but what we got going on is a rubber grommet underneath this, and I can slide it on this way and then twist it, and then a carriage bolt right here. As you can see, it's already pretty snug. And then once we put the washer in there or the nut on top of that, it should make it really, really snug. So. I'm stoked on, on that. Ooh, FedEx. So yeah, I think that's gonna be the solution. So I might actually get these up today. That'd be awesome. Woo! Although it's one more trip to the hardware store. Boo! What you got there? So. You put the rubber grommet thing on. We there. need a rubber grommet to, so it'll make it snug. Mm -hmm. Carriage bolt. Go into there. Pro this kind of acts as a washer. Okay, how are you fitting it on that? So this goes under here. Uh huh. And then it's gonna fit. This is gonna fit on top of it. I mean, we can always put a little washer, or I mean, we might need to. But pushes it down. You push it down, then rotate yeah. it. Yeah, huh? I think this needs to go under the. Okay, before you rotate it, just let me see. It goes on top of that. Oh, rubber. okay. I see where how you got that. Okay. That. And then you twist it. Mm hmm. And then we'll put a washer and a bolt, a locking bolt or whatever, on top of that to snug it in. Okay, that I like. 
Mm -hmm. The only thing I don't like is how thin this rib is. What rib? Right here. That's the only way to get it on there that way. That's the part that bothers me. Mm -hmm. Because that's your strength. And if it's not strong enough, it's going to rip through. Oh, I don't think that's ripping through. Okay. But that's my concern on it. Mm -hmm. There's the evil bolt right there. <laughs> hmm. I'm just concerned about that one plate bending. This one? Yeah. Uh, I did, I'm just concerned. It takes place. Would we want to get carriage bolts for here? No, because we could use the <clears throat> we could use these things. Yeah, we use those things. for these, right? Because mm -hmm. it would be good to have multiple. If we put that underneath and came down from the top, we put these two together, but we got to get some way to anchor it to a post there. Gotcha. Nice. And you can do that. Yeah. Once you got these two here. Run one straight through one of those. I'll do the carriage bolt on this one. Uh huh. So you'd end up with three bolts. Right. Per. Two. These ones going down through here, down through here, and that one coming up through here. Actually, it's the other way around. These coming up just like that is. Mm hmm. And this one. Oh, because be it's it's on down. the top of it. Yeah. Right. 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 And that would we could cinch it up tight that way. Okay. And I feel better with a longer piece down here for strength. Okay. Okie doke. So, so we just gotta find the parts. Find the parts. <laughs> what to say? Well, that was epic fail. You blew it, boy! You really blew it! So, I definitely got a lesson in standard versus metric. Because I guess, on my trip to the hardware store, I even brought the stuff with me. My novice eyes did not get that the M8 I was putting into the it was three eighths. Fit? In my eyes, it fit. But it doesn't fit. <sighs> and then I got the wrong washers as well. So, so, what I was trying to do earlier didn't work because I didn't get the right stuff. Oh my gosh, look at this dirty cat. Cinefer, come here. Look how dirty you are. You're filthy. <laughs> well, at least one of us was having super good fun. <laughs> She's so dirty. <laughs> oh, I'm tired, I'm calling it a day. Roof rack, day number five. I think is tomorrow. Six? What is tomorrow? It's Monday. Oh my gosh. It's roof rack day number seven. Tomorrow is the end of week seven or week three. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I think we still have maybe three more days of roof rack possibly. <laughs> All right. Anyways, enough of me. <laughs> Check back later. Good morning. This is the last day of week three, and I wanted to document the awesomeness of my hair right now. This is what yesterday did to my hair. <laughs> it's a new day, feeling good. So today's plan is to get the correct parts and then continue on. So I don't think it'll be a little bit It'll be completed today. So I think this project is going to be morphing into a two week project. So yeah, but once we get that roof rack system up there, it'll be pretty dope. 
So I'm excited for that. And fingers crossed we don't run into any more roadblocks. Fingers crossed. Looks like it's gonna be a great day weather-wise. So get right to it. bars cut so we've got two 36 hole ones and two 32 hole ones the long ones go on the front short ones go on the back and these are the brackets so that's what's up finally movement so now I just need to I'm gonna plasti dip all of them. Try this stuff out, see how it works. So far, so good. I did a proto, uh, you know, tester, and I liked it. So movement, yeah, yeah. So I don't think this will get done till the end of next week, but at least it's moving forward. I'm stoked on that. So yeah, yeah. Welcome to day two of week four. Woo! Didn't do too much yesterday. Just prepped the racks to get up. So these have all been plasti dipped. Looking good. Looking good. And then I prepped all the boat recep boat. <laughs> bolt. Bolt receptors. I don't know what you really call those, but that's what I'm going to call it. Which is these doodads. They used to all have springs on them. They go in the unistrut, so I had to cut all the springs off. And then dremel them so they're smooth. 
And then I finally got my computer. Woo! I ordered it in February and been waiting for it ever since. So I can actually start editing and posting some, some videos. Thank goodness, because now I'm super, super behind. So I will get lots of practice. Uh, yeah. Uh, Dad's feeling a little better today, so that's good. I'm feeling a little under the weather, so that's no bueno. So hopefully I can avoid it. You <coughs> definitely have COVID. <laughs> Fingers crossed. But I'm going to get on the roof and see if I can turn those built-in bolts so I can start adding the roof rack. Yes, so I can put solar. Yes, so I can add fans. Yes, so then I can do insulation. Yes, yes. Let's see if we can get this bolt. done the inside, sprayed the inside. <laughs> oh well. Can't really see the top, can ya? Nobody else is gonna see it. <laughs> And finally done with the roof rack at least the base now we will have to figure out how to mount the solar but I feel like that will be much easier than this freaking thing but feels good it's done I'm gonna have an inspection and I think we're good check it out Oh, 
freaking hot. Freaking hot.